Hey guys, welcome back. So this is a very great update for OnePlus 3 and 3T users. Now we have got the official Android Oreo 8.2 update for OnePlus 3 and 3T. And this is the new official Oxunes version 5.0 compared to the previous which was 4.5 based on the Nougat. So um, I guess pretty, I'm very excited because you know, I guess OnePlus 3 and 3T users, they deserve to get the update first because being an old user, you know, it should be very fair to give uh, 3 and 3T priority compared to OnePlus 5 and 5T. And regarding 5 and 5T, they should be getting their Oreo update by December before 31st December and the, for the open beta update these devices should be getting their first open beta update by this month in or maybe by the next month starting so uh, guys uh, let's talk about all the changes and thing the number one important thing you should be uh, aware of that you know this is the last update for 3 and 3t uh, for the software update that means the android oreo is the last version for both 3 and 3t even though oneplus 3t is just a, a nine month old device that's why i mentioned a couple of days back if you have oneplus 3t users do not buy 5t instead wait for oneplus 6 so now the official as of now the current uh, android oreo version is 8.1 on the pixel and the pixel xl so in future you should be getting that update too but not beyond than that that is android p you're not going to get it and very soon this android oreo open beta update for oneplus 3 and 3t is going to in i believe it is going to happen the day the oneplus 5 will get its first open beta update so uh, you should be getting this official version too and now till the next year i guess uh, october 2018 you should be getting security updates for both in 3 and 3t now uh these all features whatever you got in this android oreo it is exactly all features are same as you have in the android open beta which i have covered in many many videos still for the new viewers and subscribers i will show you all the features and changes that has happened in this update so guys let's start and see all the new features and changes for the official android oreo update for 3 and 3t and here are guys the official change log as sent by the company so once you update your device you immediately will get uh, this one plus service agreement which is basically just you want to join customer experience program or not it's your wish you can join or you can decline next is we have the security patch which is pretty old september patch will comparing with the open beta update um, right side on the oneplus 3t it is still on the october but officially september next we have is the pal application i've shown you guys previously you just have to go inside the settings application and search for uh, the pal application so it will just scan the current application but in case you install any application which are supported as of now it won't work for all applications for example whatsapp is working there so you will go there immediately it will uh, show you guys the next application which is supported now uh, you can easily see here right now there are four applications on my phone and this is a twitter as of now it's just a single instance the default you will get now i'm just going to create a pal application for the twitter so going back again on the pal application settings you just have to uh, turn it on it will show you a prompt message like that it is created now inside this app you can see there are two instances of the twitter one that has this orange dot on it that means it is a pal application it's kind of a box more or less so here is one now picture in picture mode guys it is very very most important feature so you guys have to uh, clearly see that it is not working on all the application it is just working on the supported application so for example google maps is working you just have to open the google maps you just uh, type any address wherever you wanted to use that now to use the picture in picture mode for google maps you can either use this app drawer you just have to open that you can either press home button or the app drawer once you use the app switcher you can see now it is minimized and now you can use any application you wanted to have on your phone and you can just pretty much move it here and there i should there should be some option to resize it but you can just maximize it you cannot change the size now here's one i will show you how the youtube works you have to use this youtube on the chrome because youtube red is not supported in india in case you have youtube red working on your country you should use that thing there. and make sure you're using desktop mode and you have to watch the video in the full screen mode once you click on this play button you have to use the same home button either or the app switcher you can see the youtube is working in the background i guess it is pretty important you guys can watch my video like that and you can just keep on doing your work it's just a simplicity that's why i'm showing you how to use youtube on the picture picture mode now one important thing you should notice there you cannot use two app together and a picture picture mode you have to close the first one then you can easily use the second application and this is very important the autofill you know but you have to first turn it on you just have to go to the autofill inside the setting type the, the auto you will see the autofill service you just have to go inside there and you can see autofill service by the way it's disabled you have to select autofill with google in future like the dash lane or one password should be coming with their services too so the important thing is that once you have this turned on if you just go and type anything any application username where username and password is there for example instagram you have to first enter uh, you know tap google to fill that now once you insert insert your username and password 
the next honored any device you're going to sign in google will simply tell you the username and the password uh, and this one is also again very very important feature smart acceleration basically this google is just trying to learn the context awareness it is uh, just trying to read uh, what things you are writing in copying for example if you have selected copy if you have written copy uh, if you just copied it it will show you phone number like it is sensible it will just give you phone options to open that otherwise in case you're just typing something like any kind of address genuine address you're typing if you just double tap to select it so google will recognize that it's a kind of uh, address so it will just show you a map application you don't need to copy paste you just have to select on this maps button it will instantly open it you can just easily navigate so go there so it is a word it is a uh, system wide it's going to work on all application so you guys have to use this quickly now this is a simple uh, quick new design setting so more or less uh, it is the uh, official and right side 3t it is on open beta so everything just looking pretty much same so uh, this is uh, way I guess uh, if you just use system default then it's more great looks pretty black now this is the launcher setting notification dot is already came but just show you guys here so uh, once you install an application you can see on the play store there is a blue dot this is the app that is just installed you can see there is a notification dot now the next change is this new app folder so this is kind of reorganized and there is no in between folder navigation i guess that should be pretty easy if you just click anywhere it will just close and the good thing is that it just takes transparent thing there should be some option to make it any kind of color you want and the third and the last is the short and OnePlus for the launcher setting so this is again very old so you guys know that there is a short and OnePlus feature you can just change your wallpaper really like you have the google wallpapers here is short and OnePlus. you can just create your own profile and you can just go to settings and you can change the daily lock screen home screen wallpaper which is very, very nice now photos are coming very clearly with the OnePlus 5 and the 5t and also there is one new feature now when you just uh, click on any photo uh, let me just click a picture of this one here this is by the way 29 years old i guess i guess 39 29 something like that now just open the photo click on the share button you can see there is a short and one plus you can just click there and you can upload your photo with your default username password which you have created now guys either earlier i talked to you guys about comparing the stock and right so uh, both the phones are running their open beta via official on the three right side now this is how uh it's this is going to look like so this is your uh, official android nougat uh, android audio setting for the oneplus 3 and 3t oxygen is 5.0 right side is the original pure stock and the google pixel xl you guys can just give it a comparison and see basically on the oxygen it is just simply like android nougat with uh, you know a hamburger menu just missing nothing more than that everything exactly same even though you got the feature it's like you have the old body you just have put it on the new class nothing more than that as you can just see here comparing with this this is a uh, uh, android one device running on the 7.1.2 so you can just see android audio versus 7.1.2 basically it just looks same the way icon just colors are different everything all things are just same so i'm quite disappointed with that and here's the one how other oems are working like that so let me show you this is the settings for the android audio so by the way this is the nokia running on the 8.0 android audio so you can see this is just like the pixel uh, you can say it's called as a nexus phone of the low end so this is how it should look like but i don't know why companies not changing that thing but i really like the new android stock setting it's a kind of uh, you know collapsed it's simple you don't need to just navigate tons of here and there so guys this is your comparison the stock android versus the oxygen s 5.0 so guys there you have it this is your official update change log so i hope you guys did enjoy this video and still just wait and stay tuned to the channel i'm going to get my oneplus 5t very soon i'm pretty excited to show you guys all the speed test camera comparison because especially 5t is doing something else with this dual camera and it, it should be very wise to you know watch those tests in comparison before you know to getting the wise judgment whether you should be upgrading your 3 and 3d to the 5t or in case you still have oneplus 5 you just bought few months back whether it doesn't make sense for you to upgrade to the 5t i'll show you all the possible speed test comparison software too so, so once again guys thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you very soon have a great day